There, you probably saw me uh, do a slight review on this thing here, uh, my Yamaha. I put it on eBay for sale now. Um, I said that I was waiting for a new amp to come in to replace this old relic Yamaha Class AB amp. There's nothing wrong with the sound of this, but uh, anyway, I waited for the new amp to come in. Anyway, the amp's now in. And it's this. It's one of the new um, Class D amplifiers. I had a Class D amplifier before uh, from um, Dork Audio, Knob Sound, I think they're called, and that was superb. This, however, is supposed to be the all singing, dancing thing with the latest chipset in. Anyway, I've just tested this and I thought that the volume you have to turn the volume up to about there to get anything any way of a decent output and this is with uh, a normal source going in there so i thought it's a bit weird um but anyway it works and the sound quality is is clear and sharp and punchy but compared to this yamaha it's horrible the yamaha brings a more musical sound and uh, it's much, much warmer, much nicer sound to listen to from this Yamaha. So this new amp, I'm going to sell it. I haven't even used it hardly, just tested it. And it's, it's rubbish, rubbish compared to good old Class AB Yamaha amplifier I've got here. So anyway, so I'd, uh, if you're thinking of buying one of these Class D amps they're quite tempting because you know they're the small form factor and everything and um, you know they fit well on a desktop and everything um, I mean it looks quite quite all right this one came with a 32 volt supply uh, from Aliexpress there's nothing wrong with it or anything it's not a, not faulty or anything but if you compare the sound to Got old class AB Yamaha amp like this. There's no comparison. This is way more musical, warmer, rhythmical. This, no way, it's not the same. Not the same at all. So there we go. That will surprise a few people because I know a lot of people have been going mental for these, but really. You know, compared to the good old-fashioned Class A B amp, they're they're no, they're not really a match for them, in my opinion. Um, I mean, my wife's sitting here as well, both listening to what this amplifier did, and this one as well. And straight away, there's a big difference. And the Yamaha was clearly better, clearly warmer, more musical, softer, better bass as well, really. So yeah, there we go. Thanks very much for watching and uh, please comment below. Obviously, there's going to be some people that are going to disagree me, with me probably on this because, you know, these are all over the place. These, uh, these sort of thing. Fossey Audio is another one using this um, new chipset that's supposed to be 600 watts, but you have to put a really big, you probably would need a preamplifier with this actually. Um, to get the most out of it but really you know unless you need a preamplifier and this is not this is not good it's not as good as the knob sound i had with the tpa 3116 chip in it uh, this has got the two um, tpa 3255 i think i can't remember the name of the chip but it's just horrible it's it's not not warm soulless sound it's punchy it's clean very clean but not in a musical way so there we go it's my opinion anyway thanks very much for watching